Hello, this is Paul Cheney with Spartan Design University. In this video, we're going to show you how to make a gyroscope-enabled single-node panorama using PanelTour Pro. I have here, here on my desktop a panorama that's already been stitched together. This one was taken in downtown Israel, Jerusalem, in an open market. We'll start by opening PanelTour Pro and creating an empty project. We'll drag our panorama into this top gray window. Once it loads, we'll make a couple of changes over here on the right side. We'll come down here to zoom limits, remove the default, and change ours to 475. We'll click on the gray area, and we'll set the start parameters for auto-rotate so that it will rotate on the desktop. Let's now move to the Style tab. Over here at the right, we have a category called User Input. Open it up and you'll see one called gyroscope. Double click it. It now adds the gyroscope over here to the left. It already has a check mark next to start activated. Let's now move to the build phase. Right now I have the output set to go to the desktop and I'm going to change the file name to index and it will add HTML for me. Let's save the project so we don't lose our work put the project on the desktop, and then we will build the project. Now that the project has completed building, let's take a look at what we've got. Out here on the desktop is our project with the cache file. Then have our index HTML folder with our data. If we return and click the green play button, we can see our panorama opens and auto rotation is kicked in. I can zoom in and I can zoom out. Let's now bring up our FTP client in my public underscore HTML, I already have a folder called Hull Photo. I'm going to drag these two in there and wait for them to upload. The upload transfer is now complete, and I have an index.html with some data related to it in my public accessible website. Let's now pull up Reflector, which allows me to see my iPad. With the gyroscope enabled on a panorama, you can now physically move your iPod around and the image will show you what you're looking at as if you were on location. You can take a look at the ground, you can look left, you can look right, you can tip and point and tilt this thing anywhere you want. Now that we have a full URL for our panorama, we can build a QR code. So let's start by copying that full URL. We'll pull up one of many sites that build QR codes for free. We're going to select a link or a web URL. We'll paste our link. Once we hit the tab key, you can see that it's generated right over here. We can download it as a GIF, JPEG, PNG, or PDF. Since we're going to be printing it out, I'm going to download a PNG file. And we'll go ahead and get a large one and we can scale it down if we need to. We now have a QR code.png on our desktop. If we open it up, we can actually test it live. Here on my iPad, I have a couple of QR code softwares. Let me open the one called Scan. I will scan that QR code right off of my desktop. It captures it and immediately opens the web page that was linked by the QR code. 